the 100th episode 9 Unity Day. This is a really good episode, and I'm excited for what it's going to lead to for the rest of this season, but it was really crazy, and it's hard to tell who really won and who really lost in this episode, because with the way things ended as far as the stuff on the arc, we don't know if any of those people survived that crash, and amongst those people were, of course, the main bad guy, I guess, uh, Diana, who was trying to become the Chancellor, and she really went full force in this episode, and everything just came out into the open and it, I was very surprised by that because I wasn't expecting it to be so soon where we finally get every all the other characters in the show and we get to see them realize that she's a bad guy but I don't know if she really won because they could all be dead including Clark's mother because it of course it was a huge explosion and it was big and they were really far away and you could see that it was a huge explosion so who knows if any of them survived i'm sure someone lived because i feel like it would just be a huge waste to have this character even if it's diana or clark's mother it, or it could be both of them it could be a ton of people who live i don't know but it was a very huge portion of the arc that broke off so even with it being a giant explosion there could be a lot of people left alive they were in a very small room and then when they actually broke off when I was looking at that, I thought I thought they were in like a little pod, and then they break off, and it looked like that. And it was a giant chunk of the arc that could have taken a thousand people, just in that section alone. But when they crashed, who knows what part actually exploded and which parts actually survived? So they could all be fine. They could all be dead. I hope they aren't, because I'd love to see Clark's mother survive, and I would also love to see her survive along with Diana, because of course she was the main bad guy so who knows what they would do with that character if she's like the only person on earth from her group I guess and Clark's mother knows the truth about what she did and everything that's going on but it was a great episode and it was just like many any of the other episodes it had its political moments but this one was really political as far as who's right and who's wrong both on the arc and on earth between the 100 and the grounders them trying to have their unity day they were trying to come together and stop this violence and we find out in this episode that aside from some of the basic things that we've seen where of course some of the hundred have killed some grounders and lincoln him being kidnapped and stuff we also find out that the flares that were sent by the 100 to signal that they were actually alive on earth crash down back somewhere else on earth and actually torched an entire village which i wasn't expecting that at all i thought they just kind of fizzled off into space like fireworks i thought that's kind of how they worked but they came back down and they destroyed an entire village and the grounders saw that as them shooting off missiles to attack them but it was a great little tense moment and unfortunately it fell apart horribly because jasper did shoot that person but i think he was right based on the signals they were giving the guy did like this and the guy kind of pulled the arrow back a little bit more or pulled the uh, bowstring back a little more it did seem like he was about to shoot at clark so it made sense that jasper did that and of course when people bring weapons and they say they won't that automatically shows that things aren't gonna go perfectly but you know it just fell apart they did kill two people they killed two of the grounders and fortunately everyone from the cast i guess was left alive because they were actually main characters so if any of them died it actually would have had a big impact compared to like two random guys in some trees but they basically we're gonna they're gonna go to war and we got to see the face of the leader she's um i believe she said her name was ayana or aya something like that and she seemed really calm when they were first walking towards each other it seemed like she was just gonna punch Clark right in the face to me because it looked like she was walking a little bit faster every time they showed her but she came prepared she had that little knife in her arm but fortunately Bellamy with some amazing precision from his training he shot her like right in the arm so she didn't get to attack Clark but they're gonna be pissed and they're gonna attack these people they're gonna attack the 100 and if anyone survived on that ship obviously they saw it as well and i'm sure they know their way around even at night so they could technically get to that ship right after seeing it crash so who knows how that'll play out too if any of the people are alive there 
they will probably automatically be taken by the grounders and by the time the 100 get there if they even do because it was so far away if they do go there by the time they get there it'll seem like no one survived so we'll have to wait and see how that plays out but based on the trailer for next week's episode there it won't focus too much on that i'm sure it'll be something about it because there was a lot of stuff that was done on the arc so they'll probably have a the typical side story with the arc and what's happening up there but it focuses a lot on the hundred themselves going up against the grounders and the grounders basically sending in their first strike against the hundred to take them all out so i can't wait for that but this was an amazing episode and they did some things some stuff was fairly obvious like releasing some plot points to some of the other characters like diana telling all of the people that jaha wasn't telling them that everyone wasn't going to live and that was a great moment in the episode where everyone kind of just froze when they were trying to get the door open <clears throat> and the guy as he mentioned he didn't trust either of them but he wanted to go to earth so he went in and of course pushed the thing down and they launched off but that was the big thing that happened on the arc what a big thing that happened on the ground and it was big to me at least because even though they skipped over it because it was fairly subtle and as far as dialogue it was a big moment because it just it caught my attention and that was when Clark was talking to the grounder leader and she talked about how when the people come down they if they want to start a war they'll start a war and they'll wipe them out because the 100 they already have guns and then they're gonna have actual troopers come down the guard will actually come down people with real life training and they'll have guns too, even probably better technology. And they can wipe them out. And the grounder leader, she said they wouldn't be the first ones to try. And as soon as she said that, like they even showed Clark's face when she did that. And they stayed on her for maybe a, a couple of seconds. But that's a really serious thing to say. And I feel like they have to bring that into the show at some point. It might not be this season. And I hope it is because I would love to see if there are other factions of grounders or if she just meant i don't know what she could have meant maybe other people like really early on tried to come down to earth and they found out that they could survive a little bit or whatever and they fought them or maybe there are other people on the earth that they fought other grounders who like i said are just different factions or something or possibly less um evolved creatures like the skeleton that they found I want to say it was in either the first or second episode and they found those bones the head was very different it could have been an animal but it seemed like it was just a earlier version of a human maybe that's what she meant so they're like Neanderthals on earth as well who can't communicate as well they can't just speak English and walk up right and stuff like that and they tried to take them out but couldn't do it either and I would love to see some examples of what she meant by they wouldn't the humans wouldn't be the first ones to try or at least the people from the art wouldn't be the first ones to try to wipe out the grounders i'd love to see who they went up against before and what creatures and people or mixes i don't know but i'd love to see what she was talking about and some specifics on that and also I of course i can't wait to see what happens on the arc because in this episode i love the way it started it was really simple they had they're having their unity day thing everything was fine the people on earth the 100 we're celebrating everybody's getting drunk the people on the arc are celebrating the same way well they aren't getting drunk but they're celebrating as well and the little kid she's telling the story while the other kids go around her with old world flags or current world flags for us of course and it seems simple she's just telling the story of earth this is what happened 17 ships they eventually two bonded together and then a ton of other ones came together and that's how we got the arc and before she mentioned, right before she says the arc, a huge explosion goes off, killing a couple people. And then the title screen comes up. And I was just like, what is happening right now? I thought it was supposed to be nice and simple. And it was going to be, I didn't think anything on the arc was really going to go down. It was just going to be that little scene. And they would get a little bit closer, like piece by piece, to realizing that Diana was the bad guy. I thought that's how that was going to go. She would do something that sort of gave people some hints of tiny bit here and there but no she just had a giant explosion and of course she was gone so it instantly made her seem like the villain and then 
it was fairly simple. She got one of the people to turn themselves in, and I thought, okay, they're going to have their suspicions now. It's going to, it's that episode where they get their suspicions, but they just can't prove it because this guy turned himself in. They can't just be like, well, obviously it was you because you left. That it could just be coincidence. And it, it just evolved from that. It wasn't even that, especially when they, of course, escaped from the little jail cell during the interrogation and they kicked the guy is the other guard and then they both take off it was like okay well obviously this is the episode where they all just find out full blown she's the bad guy so it was a, it was great because of that because I didn't think that was going to happen so soon but it was a great way how it did and also it was a sucky way how it did because it made me hit her character even more because she had to have only had like two dozen people in that ship max and I think like I said, when I when that piece broke off, it looked like it could have taken a ton of people. I'm sure there are portions of it where if they were going through the atmosphere, people would have been toasted. So that's why they were in that little room. But they still could have had a ton more people. But her main concern was, I want to get to Earth. And she's blaming everything on Jaha. Like, he's the counselor or the chancellor. And yet he hasn't told you guys not everyone can go to Earth. And she obviously didn't either. I mean... She didn't, they didn't even know Earth was inhabitable by the, at the time she was the Chancellor but she's blaming everything on him when she, she was obviously one of the people who initially came up with the plan or at least agreed to have the plan as a backup by the time they found out Earth was inhabitable but she put it all on Jaha like every single decision ever made was just suddenly his and him not telling everyone was his ego or something like that that made him a bad guy and it just made me hate her character even more it just made her more of a bad guy when the bad guy's just like saying really stupid stuff like how is how are you putting all this blame on him when he didn't choose to have this happen he just had to roll with the punches and of course you can't just tell people like yeah like 38 percent or over 50 percent of us are just gonna die you can't tell people that type of stuff. It's not it's not going to work. You have to figure something out before you tell people. You can't just give up in the beginning like, yep, a bunch of you are dead. But she kind of just put it out there and now a bunch of people are going to die. Even more people because she took like 12 people with her compared to who knows how many could have fit in that little space. They could have taken a ton more supplies, but they could have done way more and she kind of doomed even more people than it would have been if they'd gone through with the normal exodus plan but we're gonna have to wait and see what happened if she's alive if clark's mother is alive if any of those people that decided to join her are alive in that little drop ship and i can't wait to see how things get even crazier on the arc because there's no way they're gonna get any simpler now that everybody knows and that'll spread like wildfire that hey thousands of us are gonna die and only a couple hundred are actually going to be able to live. But we're going to have to wait and see. And I, I'm i just excited for the show. It keeps getting better and better. And I'm glad it did sort of just carry on really fast. And we didn't have to wait for them to figure out that she was the bad guy. But I didn't expect them to find out in a way that ended in her kind of winning if she survived. I don't know if, like I said, of course we don't know if she survived. But even if she does... I don't know if we can really count it as a win because she's going to be on Earth and she's not going to have anyone on her side because it'll just be her and possibly Clark's mother. I wish I could remember her name so much instead of saying Clark's mother, but I just can't. But Diana is pretty much on her own as far as I'm guessing. And even if she's not, there's no way that the little group of people she took with her are going to outnumber or, or even outmatch the 100 because even if they're just kids with guns, if Clark's mother comes in and says, hey, she's a bad guy, she did this and that, and that's how we got, that's why we came down here so early, they're going to turn on her because you, I wouldn't trust the woman who came down. I would think, yeah, if anyone's going to enforce the rules on the Ark, it's going to be this crazy woman who tried to kill the Chancellor, and, you know, it just breeds even more mistrust within the 100, so gonna have to wait and see but of course comment below let me know what you guys thought of this episode favorite parts your least favorite parts and what do you guys think is gonna happen 
in the well not in the next episode but I guess throughout the rest of this season because a lot of things kind of happen in this even within the 100 there's a lot of dynamics with the characters where they change of course Jasper once again got the short end of the stick because uh, Octavia kind of hates him for making the first shot of course he found out in this episode that she likes Lincoln and he's just like oh well I got nothing now so she's gone and of course she blames him and so does Finn Finn blames him too because he was the first one to take a shot but you know they have their little inner turmoil amongst the main couple of characters now because most of them knew what was going down and then there was another group like the what was really just Finn and Octavia they had no idea and they were really trying to make things work out so it's going to cause even more turmoil between them and oddly enough Clark and Bellamy are getting along really well in this episode which I actually enjoyed and then it unfortunately kind of led to the ending of this episode where it split other characters off from them so we'll have to wait and see but like I said how do you guys think things are going to change as far as the group dynamics for the show within all groups on the arc on earth and possibly even amongst the grounders I don't know if Lincoln's gonna really be cast out or anything for getting those two guys shot I doubt he will because they'll probably just blame it on the humans on the people from the arc but I don't who knows what's gonna happen but what do you guys think is gonna happen comment below let me know and thanks for watching